For decades we've looked to the stars for answers, building telescopes and sending probes across the solar system. But perhaps the greatest universe of all lies right behind our eyes, the human brain. This three-pound marvel learns, adapts and creates with an efficiency that outshines our most powerful supercomputers. Imagine a machine that thinks not like a calculator, but like a brain. This is the promise of neuromorphic computing. Today's AI, from language models to generative art, is impressive but power-hungry and inflexible. These systems require massive datasets and energy and they don't learn continuously like a child does. Neuromorphic computing offers a new path brain-inspired hardware that learns in real time, adapts and uses a fraction of the energy. This isn't just an engineering challenge, it's a philosophical one forcing us to ask, what does it mean to learn, to understand? By mimicking the brain structure, we create a mirror to study our own cognition in silicon. The potential is vast smarter robotics, medical devices that interface with our nervous system, and more. The quest for AGI is one of the great scientific adventures of our time. Let's journey from the world of ones and zeros to the dynamic realm of spikes and synapses. We'll see how these new computers work, why they're different, and how they could unlock a future we've only dreamed of. Imagine AI as a sustainable, adaptable, and truly intelligent partner in our exploration of the cosmos. Neuromorphic computing is our attempt to understand the universe within and take the next leap in intelligence. Fasten your seatbelts, the cosmos of the mind awaits, let's begin. To grasp neuromorphic computing, let's first consider our everyday computers. At their core is the CPU, a master of sequential tasks, following instructions at lightning speed. This design, called the von Neumann architecture, has powered our digital age, but it has a bottleneck memory and processing are separate, requiring constant, energy-hungry data shuttling. The brain, by contrast, is a massively parallel network of 86 billion neurons, where memory and processing are intertwined. Each neuron connects to thousands of others, storing memory right where processing happens. Neuromorphic computing aims to mimic this biological blueprint. Instead of a single CPU, neuromorphic chips contain vast networks of artificial neurons and synapses. The goal replicate the brain's structure and communication, creating systems that are parallel, event-driven, and energy efficient. Traditional computers run constantly, processing data whether it's meaningful or not. The brain is smarter, neurons only fire when triggered, sending brief signals called spikes. Neuromorphic systems operate on this principle, compute only when necessary. They process information as discrete spikes just like the brain. This slashes wasted energy making them ideal for intelligent, low-power devices. Neuromorphic chips are computers in the form of a nervous system. They promise a leap in efficiency for tasks like pattern recognition and real-time learning. By fusing memory and processing they break free from the old bottlenecks. This is the architecture of the future, one inspired by nature's own masterpiece. The result? Smarter, more adaptable machines, and a new era for artificial intelligence. Let's dive deeper into how brains and computers tackle problems. Imagine searching for a friend in a crowd. A traditional computer checks each face one by one, fetching data from memory every time, accurate but slow and energy intensive. The brain and neuromorphic systems work differently. Millions of neurons process features in parallel, color, shape, movement, each with memory built into their connections. This parallelism is neuromorphic design's first superpower. The second is co-locating memory and processing, eliminating the von Neumann bottleneck. It's like having your kitchen and pantry together, not in separate buildings. The result, immense time and energy savings. Traditional computers excel at precise sequential tasks, spreadsheets, simulations. Neuromorphic computers shine at pattern recognition, learning from experience and handling real-world complexity. They trade brute force precision for efficiency and adaptability, just like the brain. This shift opens new possibilities for AI in dynamic, unpredictable environments. The future of computing is not just faster, it's smarter, and it's inspired by us. At the core of neuromorphic computing is the Spiking Neural Network, or SNN, a model inspired by how real brains communicate. Unlike traditional artificial neural networks which process data in noisy, energy-intensive bursts, SNNs use timing and rhythm. Neurons in SNNs are mostly silent, firing only when they have something important to say, sending brief, precise spikes. 
Information is encoded not just in the rate but in the exact timing of these spikes. For example, to detect a finger snap, different neurons fire in a specific sequence, allowing the network to recognize the event efficiently. This event-driven nature makes SNNs powerful and energy efficient. Neurons are only active when processing new information, naturally filtering out static noise. SNNs can learn in real time by adjusting the strength of connections based on spike timing, a principle called spike timing dependent plasticity or STDP. If one neuron consistently spikes before another, their connection strengthens. This is how SNNs learn on the fly just like our brains, the result systems that pay attention to change, adapt quickly, and use minimal power. SNNs are the language of the brain, now translated into silicon, and they're redefining what AI can be. The dream of building a silicon brain has led to remarkable neuromorphic hardware. Meet Spinnaker, BrainScale's IBM's True North, and Intel's Loihi, each a unique approach to brain-inspired AI. Spinnaker from the University of Manchester simulates massive neural networks in real time, using thousands of simple processors. BrainScales from Heidelberg uses analog circuits to emulate neurons, running brain simulations up to 10,000 times faster than real life. IBM's True North packs a million digital neurons onto a chip, excelling at low power pattern recognition. Intel's Loihi takes it further, supporting real-time, on-chip learning and adaptation. These platforms are the early titans of a new computing era. Each brings us closer to machines that can truly learn and adapt. Intel's Loihi chip marks a milestone in intelligent machines. Its architecture enables online learning, adapting to new data in real time without retraining on massive servers. Loihi's programmable learning rules like STDP allow it to strengthen or weaken connections based on activity. Imagine a robot hand learning to recognize objects by touch. Loihi forms stable representations from experience using minimal power. This ability to learn from its own experience not just pre-programmed data is profound. Loihi has demonstrated skills from chemical detection to gesture recognition, all while adapting on the fly. Its successor, Loihi 2, is even faster and more flexible, a sandbox for the future of adaptive AI. This is a step toward machines that don't just follow commands, but truly learn. IBM's True North chip is a master of energy-efficient inference. With over a million neurons and 256 million synapses, it performs complex sensory processing at a fraction of the power of conventional chips. True North's digital, parallel, and event-driven design means it only uses energy when active. It excels at running pre-trained spiking neural networks for real-time tasks, like video analysis, on minimal power. While it doesn't learn on chip, it's a brilliant inference engine for embedded systems where power is scarce. True North proved that brain-inspired architectures can deliver ultra-low power computation. Its legacy paved the way for the next generation of efficient AI hardware. The lesson intelligence doesn't have to be power-hungry. Efficiency is the new frontier. Generative AI models like GPT-4 and DAL-E are powerful, but their energy demands are immense. Training and running these models consumes vast amounts of electricity, limiting their use on small devices and raising sustainability concerns. Neuromorphic computing could revolutionize generative AI by leveraging event-driven sparse processing. Imagine a neuromorphic chip composing music or generating images, firing neurons only when needed, using a fraction of the energy. Generative SNNs can build up creative outputs piece by piece, matching the brain's efficiency. This could bring powerful generative AI to phones, cars, and wearables, sustainably. The future creative intelligent devices that don't drain the grid, neuromorphic hardware makes it possible. Today's AI can't learn continuously, it's trained once, then frozen. Humans, by contrast, learn throughout life, adapting with every new experience. Neuromorphic computing enables continuous online learning by physically updating synaptic connections in real time. There's no separate training and inference, learning and doing are one. A neuromorphic robot can encounter new objects and instantly incorporate them into its knowledge, without retraining. This is plasticity, the ability to grow and adapt based on experience. For AGI, this is essential. Machines must learn new skills, adapt and accumulate knowledge over a lifetime. Neuromorphic chips provide the hardware foundation for this challenge. We're still far from AGI, but building machines that learn like us is a crucial step. Neuromorphic computing isn't just more efficient AI, 
It's a new kind of AI, one that can grow up, just like we do. The journey has begun. We stand at a crossroads in computing history. For decades we followed the von Neumann path, sequential, digital, powerful. But nature's brain shows us another way, parallel, event-driven, with memory and processing fused. Neuromorphic computing is our attempt to build machines that think more like living organisms. We've explored the language of spikes and synapses and met the pioneers of silicon brains. These systems promise intelligence that's efficient, adaptable, and sustainable. Challenges remain. New tools, algorithms, and ways of thinking are needed. But the quest to build a thinking machine is also a quest to understand ourselves. Neuromorphic computing is a new lens on intelligence and a new frontier for technology. The universe of the mind is vast, and we've just begun to explore it.